hello guys welcome to tech mode and in this tutorial what we are going to do is that we will be basically learning the stpp methods and web fundamentals and we will be exploring different concepts related to authentication and some cookie world basics so let's start what is an stpp and how stpp works so basically uh, let's think about uh, there is a particularly a client you can think about it as a browser which makes an stpp request to a server for example if you try to open a google and and Google has their own server setup, and you want to access a particular HTML HTML page from their server, right? So your browser makes an HTTP request, and after that, uh, what server does is that basically it will give you a as a HTTP response after it. So that's how HTTP works, and let's explore more about how HTTP works in the next slide. So, uh, STP basically the functions are you can say uh, they communicate using request and response protocol. And so, right now the version of STP is STP two is going on, which is a more secure version STP S. And uh, the most of the website right now are in STP one point one, and that is fine. So it's a and one more concept is that it's a basically an application layer. And if you know about the TCP stuff, the how transfer code transfer control protocol works and also it uh, basically stpp comes at an application layer of content, concepts in networking <clears throat> all right so let's move on to next thing so the first method that we are going to discuss is that stpp get request so suppose you have a particular website let's say scrolltest.com and we have a slash test and you want to access and we want to access a particular resource so what we can do is that we make a stpp request so in the right hand side as you can see there's a particular format of stpp where we have a uh, we have a host as a scroll has scrolltest.com and whenever we do a particularly a get request we generally do is that we basically send some user agents and we make an request to a server and it will response give a response back to us so this is how a get request works and there are a few points related to get like <coughs> the basic so basically a uh, get request basically used to retrieve all the kind of resources from a particular server for example if you want to download a particular html page js or certain videos and also this basic stuff generally work with get element get request and it's basically uh, a get request can be can remain in browser and uh, it can be bookmarked so and another point related to get request is that uh, they're generally used to retrieve data and it and it can be anything that I have discussed already. So let's move on to the next uh, type of HTTP method. So next method is uh, post. So uh, how post work is that? Uh, so what what it does is that basically uh, post is generally used to create certain kind of resource on a server. And this is how the request uh, if you see in the right hand side. So we have a request uh, kind of post we are making to particular server which has a endpoint of test slash t.php so generally what we do is that if we want to create a new kind of resources we generally have to pass something in a post and so how do we pass this so basically what we do is that uh, we, we pass certain kind of variables uh, in the headers or probably in some kind of body you can if you wanted to pass it so there are the few points like uh, post request cannot be cached and it doesn't remain in the browser history and so generally it's used to create a kind of new resources on a particular server and uh, they cannot be bookmarked yes and uh, they have no restriction so if you wanted to send uh, lots of drops of data or probably the more maximum amount of data and if you want to like probably upload certain kind of file and all so you can use a post method <coughs> so next uh, what we are going to do is that uh, we, we will be quickly uh, going to certain more methods of HTTP like uh, we have a put request so put generally used to put a file or it is particularly URI and it generally what is doing that is it replaces the particular file and this is how the format works so basically you put uh, as a boo and foo.txt and we have a for host of uh, foo.com so what it what it will do is that it will just replace the new uh, so whatever file that you are sending to it with the few food or text and generally the responses are not cacheable and it's uh, another type of method where we just use to update the resource so next is also a uh, patch request is also type of update request uh, update kind of resources but it's a partial resource so if you want to update only few things in the, your application so what you can do is that you you have to use the patch request all right 
and right handed side uh, we have a uh, basically you can say format of stpp patch request so these are the few uh, other methods like delete and options uh, delete basically as you can say as the name suggests it's a ready to deleting a request and in options generally what we do is that we basically uh, make a options request to a particular uh, server and we are the server replies that uh, replies back to us that what kind of uh, http method it supports for example suppose we made a options request to a particular server and it says uh, i can support only get and post so we cannot make a post request to it all right so that's how options work in http so let's move on to the next part and there are few two methods like head and trace these are the basically used uh, to get the header information of your uh, particularly get request or anything that you have made and a trace is basically used to return the traces of a request so generally these kind of uh, request or probably you can say both of these are not very well used not very well used all right so let's move on to the uh, response codes so uh, response code is the kind of thing for for example i have already told you that uh, whenever you do a particular request so http talks in a request and response method right so uh, if i made a get request so how do i do get to know that okay my request was successful and all so that's how the response code works so uh, generally the series of 100 you can say the servers agree to handle the client request and it's a uh, information so uh, whenever uh, you make a get request and all if they are successful you will get a 200 series uh, response codes like success and for example to 204 is that no content is present but yeah it's a successful request 300 and 400 are related to redirection and client server errors and all so generally you will encounter in different kinds of errors when you make a request like for example there are sometimes you have a 500 error where we have a problem in server all right <coughs> so uh, let's uh, move to another topic that is web authentication and how cookies works so uh, generally uh, web author authentication you can say we have a uh, three types of authentications currently present uh, and there are more type of uh, authentication right now but uh, we are mainly concerned about the three basic type so the first type is basic authentication so basic authentication basically uh, it's a string where you pass a particular username password password so you are sending in a post request and uh, what you, what the so client or basically your browser does is that it will create a, a header with authentication and it will create a base 64 of your uh, username and password so uh, pretty much it's non encrypted one and not suggested but it, it is right now the mostly used authentication so uh, so what we done uh, in the digest we have what we have done that we encrypted this request with some salt that's all so encryption of uh, any both basic authentication is a digest authentication basically. so uh, the third kind of authentication generally works with that with authentication auth we, uh, we generally call it so it's a kind of a third party where you wanted to use certain kind of request for example you wanted to use authentication of google what they do is that they share a particular key and if the user has a particular key then you can directly log in with your google account that's how it's work so, oh, so let's talk about cookies and all right so uh, cookies are basically uh, you can say that there are small text files or you can say right now probably most of the things are temporary files so these are the, uh, these how they work is that they generally uh, separated by certain kind of semicolons and all and they have a key value pair or something all right and uh, the main uh, things they generally do have is that uh, they contain domain name and their left time so uh, what exactly for example right now i am making a get request with the cookie name theme light and session is equal to abc so whenever the uh, it's a server get to know that okay these kind of cookies are coming from a client so he responds according to it all right so this is the one of the tool that i have uh, provided you below it's edit this cookie you can see the cook every kind of cookie on a particular domain just install it it's a chrome extension all right so next uh, next lecture probably it's related to test plan and test cases and best practices of ap testing and all so let's hope and hope to see you in the next video and if you do like it and uh, if you have any doubt you can just call uh, you can just post down in the comments and uh, let me know thanks guys and have a nice day